Hey everyone, it's James from The Fit RV. Now today I'm coming to you from the floor of our camper van Lance because I'm going to be working on a little impromptu project related to our battery that was uh, made necessary by something that happened on our recent trip. So the battery is right in here. And uh, it's a lithionics battery. It's a 7,000 watt hour beast. But uh, as many of you know, it's a lithium ion battery. So people talk a lot about lithium ion batteries and oh, what happens when they get too cold? You know, how do you warm up the battery when it's cold? That sort of thing. But what people don't ask enough is what happens when the battery gets too hot? And that's what we found out on our recent trip. We had a, a thermal protection event on our battery. So what I'm going to do, I, always, I never worried about it because of the battery was inside. I thought it would be fine, but turns out that's not the case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this solid battery cover and I'm going to put on like one of these. This is a quick and dirty vent cover kind of thing that I just got. But these only come in white. So the first thing we're going to do is go outside and paint it. And I'll tell you the whole rest of the story. I don't know why, but spray painting always makes me feel like a teenager. Anyway, um, Steph and I had been driving along and we had previously used the battery. So the battery was fairly depleted. We were driving along across the desert and the temperature in the van we thought was pretty comfortable. Um, but all of a sudden, like almost out of nowhere, the battery just stopped. Like the whole coach went dark and it turns out that though the temperature in the van was fine and dandy, the temperature in the battery compartment was not, but it took a few panicked phone calls to figure that out. And believe it or not, this nonsense is what passes for my shop these days. I do have plans to fix that. Believe me, I'm going to fix it. But for right now, this is all I got. Anyway, um, so talking to Lithionics, uh, it turns out that charging a battery, especially at a rate of like 100 amp hours or what, 100 amps like we were doing, charging a battery is actually going to put a significant more amount of heat into the battery than discharging it. And the lithionics battery has two temperature cutoffs. Um, it'll stop accepting a charge at 114 degrees and it'll stop all activity altogether at 132. So believe it or not, we got up to like 132 degrees inside that battery compartment. Hence, the vent. Okay, but the good news out of all that is that after a while when we stopped charging the battery, it just miraculously came back on by itself and then I was able to check the temperature and see that it was down below 130. And I called the good people at Lithionics and they assured me that the battery had not undergone any, that's eh, good enough, had not experienced any damage because they had the thermal cutoff set at such a point to prevent that. One. So here's a helpful tip whenever you're drilling through something and you want to avoid blowing out the back side of the hole. Always drill most of the way through from one side and then finish the hole from the other side and you'll get a clean hole on both sides. Ta-da! This is just ridiculous. I got cords going everywhere. Anyway, so I learned two things basically out of this whole episode. First thing I learned is that I really need to put a vent in the battery cover. And the second thing I learned is that any decent lithium battery worth its stuff is going to have a BMS that prevents you from over temperature conditions as well as under temperature conditions because they can both occur. Okay, and and there we go. Okay, now, now that I've got experience with both an over temp and an under temp battery, I'm pretty confident this will keep things pretty close to internal cab temperature. So we should be good for now. Now this is clearly not my best work, but to do this better would require two things. One, it would require me ordering up a new batch of carbon fiber. And two, it would require a shop. <clears throat>
stuff. Anyway, um, that's going to do it for now. Keep an eye on your battery temperature. We'll see you out on the road. Bye now.